feels refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just coming back into the center, coming back into the source where it's quiet and it's away from the blah, blah, blah. And then you just come back to the core and, and then what happens is you realize, ah, this is where the juice is. The juice is here. And it's coming out of me. It's surrounding me. It's always here. This, no one can ever take away from, from you because it's impossible. We can be hypnotized and forget and give in to the world of thoughts, world of emotions. But the true nature of ourselves cannot be taken away because you can never not be God. And now that you've come this close and you're touching it, you have the ability in diving in. And every time you do, you self-realize. Every time you're just quiet and you're in the juice, you realize the truth of who you are. And if you forget, you come back on Wednesday and you get remi re reminded again. And this is very different from the pseudo spirituality. Because in pseudo spirituality, you're continuously trying to become something. It's constantly trying to solve childhood issues or traumas or overcome emotions. There's a lot of doing in it. Do this, do that. Rebirthing or going to the mother's womb, going to the womb or trying to use the power of mind. There's a lot of teachings out there, using your mind to manifest things, to create things. There's a lot of doing, doing, a lot of mind activations. Activate your mind. By doing therapy, going back into childhood issues or whatever, I need to solve this issue with my dad or my mom. And I've been doing it for 30 years. So you're constantly going back into your childhood, trying to recreate a traumatic issue. So you're using the mind. You're going in the memory. It's the mind. So activating the mind. So it's mindy. Or trying to use the power of the mind to manifest, to get what you want. So again, it's mindy. You're constantly trying to visualize. You're constantly trying to use the right words to manifest because they tell you if you don't use these positive words, then you're going to manifest something you don't want. So you constantly have to think about using the right words. That's, again, mind versus no mind that you simply are and you're quiet and you're surrendering and you're allowing God to take over your life. So you're kind of fading into it, fading into what is rather than trying to manipulate and then you'll find out your life becomes very easy, very simple. Things start to click, they come together.
And when they don't come together, there's no resistance because you're not trying to make something happen. You're surrendering to what is. So you're allowing the game to come to you. You're allowing it to come to you rather than trying to force it. And that takes a certain spiritual maturity. Not everybody's ready at that place. You somehow get prepared to get to that place. I love that because it's easier because God's vision, her majesty's vision is probably better than what I'm trying to manifest. So by just relaxing and surrendering into it, let that energy dazzle me, show me what it has planned for me. Absolutely. I love 100%. that. And then also you start seeing it from that point of view. So you see the negative or what's screwed up as Her Majesty's design plan. So as you shift your vision, then you start to realize there is no others. Others don't exist. They're all different aspects of your own self. And they're all designed to be there to do a certain function. So perfect. all of a sudden, everything becomes perfect. You, you start <laughs> to see the perfection in this screwed up appear appearing to be screwed up world you start to see it as perfect it's exactly the way it needs to be nothing needs to be touched the boss is running the show so you keep seeing it and you keep telling yourself and then so the more you see it and the more you say this to yourself the more you relax into it and the more you become indifferent to what appears and what disappears. You're indifferent to it because you're finding the juice here. The juice is really here. And the juice has always been here. It's never anywhere else. I love it. I get it, I love it, thank you. Beautiful, you're welcome, you're welcome. All right, so let's see where we're at. It's 11 minutes to 12 o'clock. Anyone, anybody likes, has a question, comments, anything? Hello, Candace. Hi, Candace. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Well, Candace, number one, I wanna thank you for your lovely emails. Number <laughs> two, I wanna to apologize to you for not being very attentive and not writing back to you. I have to admit that past few weeks, I have not had much juice um, in regards to this. And uh, I've been energetically distant from everything with the traveling, with the moving, with problems I had with computer and internet and everything is, but I can see like my energy is coming back. So I apologize to a lot of you if I'm not very responsive. 